if you want to fix and flip or wholesale real estate on your way to financial freedom, finding motivated sellers is the name of the game. So where are you going to find them? To me, in my opinion, one of the biggest bottlenecks in this business, it's not actually finding buyers because obviously if you have a good deal, the buyers are going to follow that. The biggest bottleneck in this business is finding good deals. The great thing about finding a good deal is you find a good deal. The buyers, the buyers will come. Oh, hey, what's up my sexy man muffins? Tyson Dela Cruz here. Thank you so much for joining me. Before we hop into the list that I'm going to provide you to find motivated sellers, I want to tell you that every single list works. There's not a magic list that's going to get you deals more than the other list. What I got to tell you is every single list type list works. It comes down to a few things when you get your data or when you're wanting to get into this business. The first thing on the list is actually consistency. Consistency of following up with your existing data, consistency with reaching out to new leads or new data that come in. Secondly, it's going to be about speed, how fast you actually connect with some of these lists, how frequent you're connecting with the people on these lists. And lastly, it's going to be about time. If you're consistently doing the work, if you're consistently reaching out to homeowners, consistently talking to people, and your speed is, is moderate or good, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to timing. Where is the existing or potential motivated seller at in their life in regards to get rid or sell their particular property? Now, each of these lists are gonna require a set of different marketing tools and tactics. You cannot market the same way to a list that I'm gonna to explain to you next, like a pre-foreclosure list, the same way you would a person who owns a bunch of properties and is a savvy investor. You're not gonna market the same way. Your lingo is not gonna be the same. So this is important to know what list you're actually reaching out to and marketing to, whether that's you or your team. And then also giving them the right tools, resources, scripts to actually communicate and dig deeper on the potential sale for these motivated lists. Powerful question to ask yourself when you're actually scrubbing data, looking for new lists, or searching for the lists that I'm going to provide to you today is what problem do you and your company actually solve? And what type of problems would a motivated seller be in that a cash offer can potentially alleviate? Most of the time when you think of a cash offer, what do you think of? You think of quick close, no inspection, no fees, close when you want. Enough of me rambling and rating, let's get right into it. First on the list is pre-foreclosures. Pre-foreclosures, this is NOD, so notice of defaults and notice of trustee sale. I actually personally love this list. There is significant amount of urgency in this list. And when you connect with the homeowner, really show them that you or your company can actually solve their problem. A lot of times these people are in default with their mortgage. They haven't made mortgage payments in a very long time. And they're probably not making payments on other things. So it's important when you talk to them or knock on their door that you say, hey, I see this is going on. What can we do to assist you or how can me and my team of individuals assist you out of this situation. Second list I absolutely love is probates. Probates, whether it's pre-probates or open probates. Now, keep in mind the call, the phone call on this is going to be a little bit more difficult. It's gonna require a little bit more finessing. Also, it's going to require a little bit more knowledge about the probate process. So whether it's you or a team member that's going to reach out to these individuals on this list, this probate list, make sure that A, you're coming at it again with care. How can you help this person? 
me personally, I address the situation right off the jump. I don't call them right after an heir had passed away or after they recently just opened up a probate. We have a specific formula. We wait anywhere from three to five business days to actually contact the heirs or individuals responsible for the estate. We just ask them, we say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Heir, we were just calling because we had recently purchased a property in the area just seeing on when you might be potentially interested in selling. Keep in mind when you're calling these foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, if your phone skills suck, your conversation's probably gonna suck too. So sharpen up those tools, get on some sales training, get on some neuro-linguistic programming, understand how to use your words and appropriately communicate to people. That's period. That's in this business, period. Just learn that shit, period. You'll do amazing. Third list that I love to find motivated sellers tax liens, tax delinquent. A lot of times these properties are free and clear. The homeowner often lives out of state or this property is simply just a tax shelter for them. They're using it as a depreciating asset. So maybe there's a tax lien on it. Maybe it's tax delinquent. Some people keep in mind, use this as a strategy for their taxes. So keep that in mind when you're speaking to somebody, but the tax delinquents, tax defaults, I love them because you can actually get some conversations going. And remember, again, back to that list earlier, it's about the consistency, how you're building the rapport, the speed, and the appropriation of how you're connecting with these people, and then timing. You know, these people can be in your system for a while before they actually turn over and become a closed deal. Number four is vacant absentee owner. I love this list. Personally, I go after people with more equity because yes, it refines it down. I also refined the demographic of the homeowner down. Me personally, <laughs> believe it or not, I don't actually call any Asian people. That's just my thing because I just don't vibe well with Asians, Asian women specifically. My experience, they don't often sell as frequently as the other avatars that me and my team work better with. When you're going after these vacant, absentee, high equity lists, me personally, I say 50, 60% equity. Number five, vacant. Not necessarily just vacant, but verified vacant. So this means whether you have boots on the ground, if you're doing wholesaling or flipping virtually, if you have boots on the ground, or if it's in your backyard, in your hometown, verify the vacancy of the property. Yes, this is gonna be a little bit more time consuming, but a verified vacant is significantly better than just a vacant. That verified stamp of approval, once you got eyes on the potential target, you know that it's vacant. And if mail might still be going there or it might be getting forwarded, a lot of these systems, what I personally have noticed, they use the United States Postal Service to verify their vacancy and they can be a little bit off. And just because a property is vacant, they could still be receiving mail. Last but not least, code violations. Code violations are a great source for motivated sellers. A lot of times these people are out of state or it's their secondary, not necessarily their primary residence. So the code enforcement of your county, city, they drive around and they verify the nuisance they want to protect some of the level of the neighborhood. They don't just want vagrants and stuff happening at a vacant house. So if somebody has an abatement lien or the house just recently got boarded up or the pool got filled from the city, they, they do those things. These are actually a really, really great source of leads. Like I said in the beginning, guys, there's no such thing as a magic list. It's really about just getting out there, getting that momentum going, actually start talking to homeowners, actually calling them up, working on your linguistics, uh, communicating, active listening, solving problems for homeowners. The more you get out there, the more that you're doing the dang thing, the more momentum is gonna roll up and the more opportunities are gonna be in front of you. If you're new to the videos, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. You can also catch me on all social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Guys, as always, be kind, rewind. Peace.